The first thing presented to you when you start up your Mac is the desktop. Your desktop contains a desktop background or wallpaper. In my case, I have a plain blue desktop background image. We'll cover how to change the desktop background in the System Preferences section of this tutorial. Aside from the background, the desktop contains the menu bar here at the top and the dock, which is currently here at the bottom of my display. The desktop can also display icons of files, folders, drives, or disks. To change what icons will or will not be displayed on the desktop, go to Finder Preferences and the General tab. As I check hard disks and external disks, you can see their icons begin to appear or disappear over on the desktop. I usually prefer to keep these first three checked, so I can see internal and external drives, along with CDs or DVDs that may be in my Mac's optical drive. If you connect to a file server regularly, you may want to check connected servers as well. If you prefer to only access these items from Finder windows, if you prefer to only access these items from Finder windows, keep these boxes unchecked for a minimalist desktop. To start locating and opening files, you need to open a Finder window. This can be done a few different ways. First, if hard disks are set to be displayed on the desktop, you can double click on your Mac hard drive icon here in the upper right. By default, your Mac's drive will be named Macintosh HD. However, you can easily rename it to whatever you prefer. Just select the icon and press the return key to edit the name. I'll shorten mine to Mac HD. You can also open a Finder window from the dock by clicking the Finder icon here. To open one from the menu bar, click File, New Finder Window, and finally, the keyboard shortcut for a new Finder window is Command-N. Files from Finder windows can be moved or copied to the desktop. To move, just drag and drop. To copy a file or folder, drag and drop while holding down the Option key. This file is now in my Documents folder and on the desktop since I copied it rather than just moved it. The desktop also appears as a folder within your user account home folder, which we'll go over a little later in this section. The files visible on my desktop are also going to appear in this desktop folder. 